Hey guys, Ryan here, and today I'm going to be unboxing a package from Funko. Okay guys, so let's get started. Now, obviously I'm pretty sure I do know what this is, but then again, sometimes I don't. Like, because I, I had two packages coming from Funko, so I'm not that... Because like, there's this one YouTuber I watch... And whenever they get a package, every time they're like, hmm, I don't know what this is. I'm assuming that this is um, the four that I got from Funko Shop. Because the one, usually when you order a single one from Funko Shop, they don't come. Yeah, this is definitely all of the ones that I ordered. Let's get that out of here. So when I open up my box, I see this. Now, I'm just going to give you guys a hint. This does revolve around the 8-bit pops. So I think that probably tells you guys... You know, all of it, but, so yeah. First one we got is the Neon Donatello. Um, so he is, oh man, this is cool. Because for most of the 8-bit pops, no, that one actually is good. Well, all of the Stranger Things 8-bit pops, they're, you know, like the corner of them right here is like rounded, and that irritates me. I don't know why, but so first up, guys, we got Donatello. So I'm sure you guys know what all the other ones will be. But so next up, we have oh, of course, it's upside down. My favorite Ninja Turtle, Michelangelo. These look really good. Okay, so I did not think that these would actually look this good, but they look awesome. This is, of course, like the neon versions and everything. So, look pretty cool. My, I have a huge 8-bit collection. I did, well, not like huge, but I did not think I'd ever be getting this many 8-bit pops. I always thought that um, I'd just get the Stranger Things ones and I never actually get interested in any of the other ones. So, ne oh yeah, this is what I liked the most though. Next up, we have Raphael. Now, somebody tell me in the comments, is this in the right box? Because I swear to God that somebody showed me that they came in different boxes than the regular ones. Correct me if I'm wrong, I don't know. But, no, actually, no, I think this is right. Okay, and my last one is Leonardo. So, these are awesome. Really, really like these. So, this is the whole 8-bit line. And I actually have none of these. I don't have any of these. But I'm going to be getting, of course, like all of them. That's just my main goal. Um, I'm at least going to get this foot soldier because it's part of the set, you know. Um, I know that that's probably my biggest goal for the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle 8-bit line. These look really cool. Okay, so the f first 8-bit in the line is Leonardo right here. The second one is Donatello. He's number 5. Number six, Raphael, right here. And then number seven is Michelangelo. So this was definitely not the cheapest set to get on the Funko Shop. Um, they're about fifteen dollars each, but then you have to have tax and shipping. So it was a good, it was a pretty good amount of money. But it was awesome. I really like these pops. Um, so now for my eight bits. I have all of these right here. I have the Freddy Krueger, and I have all of my Stranger Things ones, which is 11. We also got Mike and Demogorgon. Do not worry, I'll get the chase of this, and I also will get the Dustin and Lucas. I've just been shaving my money up for different stuff that, I don't know, the, the Dustin and Lucas haven't been my big priority or, like, the 8-bit pops for Stranger Things at all. Because those all, I see every single time I go there, I see the whole set. But, of course, you know, I see all of them besides the chase. But, yeah, so I'm just really grateful that I was able to get these guys. So, thank you guys for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing. Um, I have some other unboxings coming very, very soon. But, yeah, so, these are the four that I got right here. Really happy to get them. And, yeah, I just think that they're really cool. These are still available on the Funko Shop. So, I'll link that below for you guys to see. But, yeah. So, thanks for watching this um, video. There's 
Okay, I have... I thought I had one more 8-bit pop. Um, oh, yeah, I have the Freddy Funko 8-bit. Yeah, so now I have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have nine eight bits. Soon to be. Well, I have to get. I'm gonna get all the commons for these, which is the ones you see on the side. I'm gonna get the Shredder Foot Soldier, and I'm gonna get the Barb that's coming out. I need the Dustin and Lucas, the Demogorgon Chase. So yeah, I'm. And oh yeah, and I also need the regular one of this. Um, the Jason Voorhees and the ne and the NES Jason Voorhees as well. And the Xenomorph, and I want to get the PX Previews Exclusive, the one with the slime on it. So, yeah, I got lots of 8-bit pops that I'm interested in. I flippin' love the 8-bit line. I know some people don't like it. I don't know why, because I like it. I really like it. But that's just me. So, thank you guys for watching this video. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I have another video coming out later tonight, and that's going to be my top 10 favorite Funko Pop exclusives. So, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you guys next time.